What up everybody, it is Nick, and this is something that you guys probably did not see coming. This is something that a lot of you probably not prepared for. Me personally, I've been playing this for a while now, and it's just something to give to you guys because I appreciate you guys, and I know I haven't, this is the reason I haven't been as active on TikTok, because I'm working on this, which you guys will, you know, I'm recording this now, but it's going to come out later. So when you see this, just know I've been grinding away at this in college. For those of you that don't know, the Mafia series is my favorite series of video games ever. It's not even close. There's no comparison. And the way that started was back in my freshman year of high school, uh, the game was available on the Xbox Marketplace for free. So I said, you know, why not go ahead and download it, have some fun. I heard of the game before. I played through it, and it is just such a beautifully made game, and I love everything about it. I, I have nothing but great things to say about Mafia 1, Mafia 2. Um, Mafia 3, eh, but we're not focusing on that right now. We're playing Mafia 2, so this is going to be a playthrough. I'm going to have a bunch of parts out for you guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, you know, when I was younger in high school and stuff like that, during the Christmas time and break, I would love watching Let's Plays at night. Uh, Chris, Christmas Eve, I'd be watching stuff like this. So I decided to go back to the roots and give you guys something that you might enjoy because it's something that I know I would enjoy. And I get to play my favorite video game ever. Uh, I play this game once every year around Christmas time. And I decided this time let's record it because it just has a really nice Christmas vibe to it. So uh, with that being said, without further ado, let's get into Mafia 2, ladies and gentlemen. Mafia 2 Definitive Edition presents the game's narrative content and its originality from 2010. The game includes culture sensitive content. Yes, yes, yes. You all knew this. Um, it's not a PG game. We'll just put it that way, but let's get into it. It's a great story game. Um, there's a lot to like about it. It's I, I just feel like it hit on every... Anything you could want in a game, this game has. 2K Hangar 13. Give it to me. 2K Check. 2K Check made some great games. So I'm going to go ahead when there's cutscenes. I'm just going to take a step back and I'm just going to let it play out for itself because I feel like the cutscenes and the story is really what makes the game what it is. My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, 
shit. We started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Run shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return to fate. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? All right. So this is where we take over right here. We're in the war right now. Um, this is the only time we're gonna have a. Come on, come on. All right, we got a good shot there. Let's get into it. The game. This is the only time you're gonna see us in the war. Usually, the game does not take place. And, um, what is it? Game does not, usually, the game's about the Mafia, all right? This is just kind of like a background, if you will. Okay. If I remember correctly, we gotta breach the door. Yikes. All right, hold on. Hold up. Oh, we gotta go through the door. Wow, that was the dumbest thing I've ever done in my entire life. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Controls are a little funky. Uh, that's something you see a lot of the time with older games. I'm talking like 2010 and stuff like that. A lot of uh, a lot of fun controls. So uh, excuse me in the in the first couple of minutes as I try to get this down. Oh, I got a grenade. Yeah, I do. No, I want to put the grenade through the window. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Boom, baby. Now, the problem with this is this level is actually really hard. It's the first level. Um, but after you take this hit, your health is relatively low. So I need to be really careful. Moving on here. Ammo. Pick that up. We got a cover On the oh, just, yikes man yeah. so bad without the aim assist this is awful a lot of time you gotta wait for them to poke their head out which kind of sucks you know, we got a good shot there but then we got one guy down here we gotta wait for it. boom there it is all right starting to get my swagger back a little bit um yeah went up the wrong way Scaletta, you take point of course i have to take point why is, is there a way to get the camera, just, just kind of back up the camera a little bit? Brightness doesn't need to be that bright. Um, I don't think there's any way to fix. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Lots of taking cover in this game. Boom, that's a tough way to go out. Ooh, that's a tough way to go out. That's okay. I feel like I'm in a bad place right now. I feel like I shouldn't be here. The door, Scaletta. Oh, the door, okay. I got to kick the door, of course. I'm going to get shot. Yeah, that was easy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, they're coming right up behind us. See, I'm, I'm just, like I said, this guy's a good guy, this guy's a good guy. Okay, follow Private Williams to the balcony. I can't, I cannot see, I cannot see, I'm stuck in this like, shooting, I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot though. Let me get, let me get down, let me get down and cover at least. There we go. Get inside, Scaletta. You're gonna die 
All right, I'm, I'm tr dog. I'm literally trying my hardest here. I'm inside. Use the MG gun. Oh shit! Yeah, I gotta get the MG gun. This is hard. I remember this. This used to give me some problems back in the day. Just kind of like shoot and pray. That's the best you can really do. Try and hit the part of the. Try and get a lot of explosions with the car. See, like this is what I'm talking about right here. I'm so close to dying. It's so hard to multitask. Take care of one side. Oh my lord. Coming from everywhere. I gotta take out these tanks. I'm getting murdered. Is there a way? My ears are getting absolutely. I think that's how it's supposed to. I think it's supposed to be at 100. I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay. I just saw a tank roll up. I'm gonna have to take that out. Okay, there we go. Another cutscene. Another cutscene. This is kind of giving a little background of how, how like, big the mob was back in the day, like, international-wise. doesn't matter where you are, there's always a mob somewhere. So someone is able to have power like this and stop a straight-up war. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. It's badass. Which leads us to present day. Uh, this game takes place in the late 40s, early 50s. I could be so wrong. I might be a little messed up because I did play L.A. Noir, and that is a little uh, that's a little earlier in the time period. So yeah, 1945. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. It's our boy Joe. Vito! Over here! Vito! Joe! Hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sauces. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. And another thing that I love about this game, the radio. It, the game really makes you feel like you're living in the 40s. It takes place in Empire Bay, which is a combination of Chicago. New York and a little bit of Boston, I believe. Hey, shit in the woods. But uh, um, like this place ever done. I mean, just look at this. Anything's better than a foxhole. The cars are all all the same models as uh, paper as it was in the forties. Like look behind. Don't worry though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's your best? That music. Ooh, the jazz. Just almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, oh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here, wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? 
from old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Thank you, Joe. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. I make one phone call. That changes everything. The mob, man. They run everything. You gotta hey, accept that, it. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right. Attaboy, I'll Vito. See you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that could end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Look at that chest Trust there, me. man. Well, thanks. Documents are clean. You're welcome. Got some Humphrey fire, whiskey. You're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I wanna walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. You're gonna see what I mean now in a little bit about um, just the vibe of the game in general. Good Christmas game. Good wintertime game, I feel like. They nailed it with the snow. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Open world game. Classic. Delightful. So, you know, you get your restaurants in case you're hungry. Um, yeah. Game is going to have us walk around a little bit. I just like, it's like a living, breathing world that you're playing in. Uh, if you walk or bump into someone, you can talk to them. If you slow down, you can have conversations. Every NPC matters. It's just a wonderful game, man. There's a clothing shop over there. Um, I'm going to take the back alleyway to get to my house, though. Vito? Is that you? Vito's back, baby. Whole town's finding out. Is that glass breaking? I don't think a cat. Was that... I don't even know what that was. That kind of scared the life out of me. We're home, baby. Oh, there's the cat. Okay. I was just going to... What? What? All right. Go. Back to Mama's apartment. Hi, Mama. <laughs> I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, you know, sis, what's going on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Chicken soup, baby. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. I'm sorry, Mama, sorry. Benedice, signore, ho mangiato, ho fatto la volontà. Stiamo ricevendo, provvedo nel cuore che ci continuiamo. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. Let's take a look at it. Aha. Dang, those are some big beds. 
or maybe not. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just dumb. Yeah, you look around. I mean, you know, look down at the apartment. I guess we can look around a little bit more because there are other parts to this apartment as well. Um, over here we have bathroom. And I don't know if you can do anything. Can you flush the toilet? I don't even know. I don't think so. Maybe you can. Dear Lord, that was frightening. All right, okay, all right, cool. Let's go to bed. Um, what an idiot. Because we have business to attend to in the morning. Uh, that's when we... I see you two in the morning. Make our way well. into the mob, as you will. Because right now, we're just a free man. Just got out of the war. So let's uh, let's move on now. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. Maybe Joe can help you out. Let's get dressed. Tux? No, I'm not feeling a tux. We can rock a leather jacket. I think the leather jacket is what I wore when I got back. I just put on the suit and glasses. There you go. Let's see where we're looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... I'm perfectly fine with that. What's up, Mama? So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. See, I'll uh, join Joe's you taking care of it for me. I'll join Joe! You. Oh. you want to get into trouble again? <laughs> Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. There you go, Vito. I'm Joe with you, probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You got my word on it, You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him. Work hard like you were your pup. You wish. Talk to him. Please, it's how, it's promise me you go talk money, to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio. Thank you, Mother. Let's head over to Joe's. If my memory serves me correct, we're going to have some turbulence on the way there, though, so... Snowy. I don't I'm give a sorry. damn. I don't we'll care if you gotta money. sell hey, everything. I you know, so what the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole. What oh, the yeah. hell is going on here? Yeah. Ah. Damn! Okay. Come right. on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, oh. tough guy. Scaring a woman, oh. huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Come on. Come on. Give me this. Oh, oh, oh. You're making it even worse. Oh. UFC. Oh. 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 How is my dude still alive right now? Stop, stop, please, Vito, what are you doing? He's just idiot a lesson. I'm only going hard punches. There's no reason to ever go light. Oh, he do oh, he's dodging the heart. Okay, I might, might have to go light. Might have to go light. I'm just throwing a bunch of air punches looking like an idiot. Come on. There oh! Oh my ah, fuck this. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. That's the a broken nose is. for sure. Had, uh... What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. <laughs> thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. I'm gonna be laughing We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this of week. Death, Otherwise, the debt down. goes up again. I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who you is this guy? I don't know. Don't Mama won't look. tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. No. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Yeah, I will. I promise. Look at that. Look at that smooth. Thanks, Vito. Here take chest, care of yourself. Like I'll take care of myself, sister. Don't you worry. I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Bet he could. Let's go to Joe's place. Let's take a look at the map. It's the first time. Uh, it's actually a, a really big map. You know, you look at this and you think it's small, but it takes to get from about here to here. It'll take you a while. So I don't know if I have a car. I might, 
I did not mean to do that. See, I'm used to the GTA. You gotta hold LB to sprint. That's my bad. Okay, um, I think I might have a car around here somewhere. We're gonna go to Joe's, we're gonna set up and get ready for next episode. I'm um, gonna try and round things out here, but I might have to steal a car right off the bat, which is kind of out of pocket, but you know, there's a taxi, there's a park car down there. We want to take that one. Go ahead and pick, pick it. Oh, no, we're going Maybe I'm just supposed to walk. That's on me if it is. I apologize. As the game goes on, obviously I'll get a lot better. No need to worry. How far is Joe's? Yeah, it's, it should be walking distance. I don't know what I'm doing. The game really likes it when you walk around. The game knows that it's, uh, it, it has a nice atmosphere and lighting field. I like the sound of cars going by. Uh, but as you can see in the bottom right here, you can see when the cops are patrolling the streets, and uh, when they're driving by as well. So as long as they're not facing you when you commit the crime, you're not in trouble. Um, the way that cops work in this game is a lot different than GTA. GTA is the star scale. In this game, depending on the crime you commit, it's this ring that's like a five mile radius of you and you just have to flee it. And, but if a cop sees you, then the radius resets itself based on where you're at, if, uh, if that makes any sense. So Joe lives up here. Uh, walk over to the homie's house. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. You don't get stuff like that in games today. You know, homie just fell, and you're able to see it. Um, that was hilarious. All right, here we go. Open the door. We're in the function. What's up, Joe? Here in some squeaky beds. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to I'll live. be sure to tell him, ma'am. I'll be sure. <laughs> Huh. Is this a bad time? <laughs> we ain't getting out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Ugh, you disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for you. Let's go! All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. I Stop by again. tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Why do we have to stop when we can all have fun? Oh, wait, no, I don't want to skip. Fun's over, I baby. Later, I okay. say. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell Joe's you, that little Spanish again, broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. And you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You're gonna look for one? I don't know, but I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you can stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. What do you mean by that, Joe? Is there potentially a mob that we could join? Can I change my clothes, please? I can't take myself seriously if I'm wearing... I don't think I can. But, alright, that's fine. Let's go. 
Um, I think I'm going to leave this episode here for now. Um, so we have a nice introduction. We have everything. So you thought that about what you're going to do so now? Far. You said you pause the game. Um, yeah. So next episode, we're going to get into a little bit more of how he gets into the mob. We're going to move on in the game, and we're going to start actually, you know, doing things that people in the mob do. If you know what I'm saying. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. I'm sorry if I sucked a little bit. You know, it's been a hot minute since your boy has played Mafia 2. Um, like I said, once a year. Um, it's a game that I really enjoy. And, you know, I know you guys like my videos and you guys keep up with me. And we all have a lot of similar interests. So I feel like this is a game that's not that popular um, with our age group. But I feel like it's a game that you guys will love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one.